get my audience drunk enough this morning, you understand. Y'all was filming a Friday, we're live in the mob. Everybody feeling all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know, that voice only works on Daryl. But anyway, um, <laughs> listen, what's up everybody? <laughs> Stan said TMI. I'm sorry. It's, it's, Actually, you know, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's a, <laughs> It's just I mean, a fact. Like, hey. It's just a fact. No, I'm sorry. I'm not, not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I know I'm yeah. going to get all kind of comments. <laughs> <laughs> and Stan already caught us before. You remember when I text? That's right. That's right. Like, That's right. What's, what's, what's right. Pookie Bear? What's the Pookie Bear? He was like, wait a minute. Now yeah. the whole band calls him Pookie, Pookie Bear. Bear. <laughs> Hashtag Pookie Bear live in the law. No, 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 no. You never heard it here. I'm just saying. Alone. I'm just saying. I'm going to pay for that later. I know. I know. Listen, y'all. I am so excited. I can hardly stand it. Okay. You know this is my favorite part, right? This is my favorite part. Okay, so listen. So listen. Wait, wait. I got to get myself together. Y'all don't feel me. Look, all the Facebook folk, you would want to hit your share button right now. Okay? You want to tell folks to come on and watch Feel Better Friday because I know somebody needs to feel better. And the feel bettering is about to begin. Do you feel me? Listen, today's guest is originally from the Bronx, New York. He's a member of a legendary multi-award winning male group. The, let's see, how can I even say this? The biggest male acapella group in history. In history, you better make some noise. I'm talking Gospel Hall of Fame, Soul Train Awards. They've won 10 Grammys, in his case 11. They have, I think, 24 Grammy nominations, 10 Dove Awards, 15 albums, and countless singles will be here all day. Their 1988 debut album won Grammy Awards in Gospel and Jazz and three Dove Awards. Did you hear that? Y'all y'all heard all that, right? You got that. This group contributed to the film Do the Right Thing and sang on the album Back on the Block by Quincy Jones. This band's second album, so much to say in 1990 appeared on the gospel, jazz, and R&B charts of Billboard. Do you feel what I'm saying? Gospel, jazz, and R&B. When I tell you they have just leveled the playing field with music, it's just incredible. And that's just from back in the day, okay? That's just from back then. And the hits just keep on coming. Please welcome to the law, singer, composer, producer, and a member of the legendary group Take Six, Mark Kibble!
to like stay connected because you know how it is you don't get to see the people that you perform for every all the time but on Facebook live and Instagram live we get to connect like this and if I'm being honest I was begging God begging him what's next okay I know another I was I was begging him I know right you he does he does and this is what happened and I know listen you can't tell me God don't love me because Mark Hold on, wait a minute. So that was real easy. No no, no problem. I mean, okay, I got a cell phone number. I know his wife, you know. But still, but still, I'm just saying. No, listen, can we go right into another song? Can I just, I just, I just need you to serenade? Because all of my viewers right now, what's up, everybody in Facebook, Instagram world? They're like, shut up, Silver, and let him sing. Just right now. I promise you they are. I promise you. Don't y'all be co-signing too much. Y'all in the loft, too. Give it up for the loft hanging folks up in here today. We got one or two in the loft. I know y'all are at work and at lunch and doing your thing. This is Feel Better Friday. We're live in the loft. We've got the fellas here. Give it up one more time for Hamilton Hayes on bass, Chris Allen on percussion, Stan Cooper on guitar, y'all, and vocals, and Speedy on drums, Mr. Daryl Hunt on keys, and vocals. No, no. <laughs> right. What? right. Okay. That's a good one. Did he say and vocals? Well, just for saying, the record. Because you said just stand, for the record. and I was just saying, you know, I wanted to have my chance. You wanted to have your chance. Have chance. Just for the Duarte. record, Daryl has a chance. singing credit yeah. on a record. In Sweden. In Sweden. Yeah. Can you believe Shout it? Shout out to Banked out there, who the yeah. first person we Banked. recorded with when we went out there. Banked Skopo. That's, yes, I was going to say that, but yeah, I'm going to show. Anyway. <laughs> Feel better Friday, y'all. This is how we do. We have Mark Kibble. Now, I'm going to try to behave myself, because even though we're friends, I have admired this man, this group, and this voice. I can't even tell you when. It was life-changing for me to listen to groups like uh, Commission and Take Six especially the particular time in my life when I was kind of finding my walk, you know what I mean? And there were certain songs that spoke to me. Well, your entire albums, but it, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So we all have favorite artists and y'all know here at The Loft, we love, love some Stevie Wonder, right? And I know you've worked with him and that's my big brother. I know it is. I know. And he's I mean, so wonderful. If you're my sister, that means he's your big brother. Ooh, I can't take it. My <laughs> DNA is changing by the minute. I love it. I get new DNA. Did you hear? Did you hear? I get new DNA. I love it. I love it. 
Listen, not only is this one of my favorite singers, and he's gonna do a song by one of our favorite artists. It's Feel Better Friday, y'all. We're live in the loft with Mark Kibble. This is you and I. My favorite singer and my favorite pianist. I can't take, I'm gonna need a cigarette and I don't smoke. She's just saying that because we're married now, that's why. You weren't saying all that before we got married. I'm just saying. <laughs> Actually, see, no, you did. See, you did. You see, did. You see, did. Yes, I did. You did. You did. I worked for it, though. If it didn't take me so long to get these shoes on, I would throw them at you. <laughs> Y'all, it's Feel Better Friday. We have Mark Kibble in the loft. You've got to make some noise. I don't think you understand. 
Listen, I couldn't afford the other five. You understand me? You know Al Jarreau, the late, great Al Jarreau. Oh, was my another, goodness. Was like my uncle. Right, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, right. You know, we're doing roof garden. Oh, oh my God. Y'all remember roof God. garden? Yeah. You like roof garden? Time yeah. six. Oh, Come on. Can we can we ask a black I, I can only imagine. This one. I can only imagine. What else? What else? What else? We got what my mouth water. Hold on, hold on. What else are we doing? We, want, we do uh, change the world. No, really? you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a it's a thing, right? I don't know. It, I, I should. I think I am. I don't know if I'm tremendously flattered or if I have to go back to the drawing board because we both recorded "Love Is," oh, right? Yeah, that's right. We sure did. And a great song. We did change the world on the Groove and Records and yeah. sailing. Sailing. Yep. Oh, now, of course, I theirs is climbing up the charts, and mine is somewhere behind it. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're still, we're cool okay. in, in the right. UK. Yeah. It's okay, but I'm in there. I'm in there. Yeah. No, shout out to Byron Ruffin. My radio guy calls me and says, you know, we, we might have to put out something else other than sailing. And I said, what do you mean? It's sailing. He said, yeah, but Take Six just released it, and it's blowing the charts up, and so. Oh, <laughs> you wait till I call Mark. I was like, wait, they did sailing? And it's unbelievable. Oh, thank it's thank unbelievable. You. This is, It's one of those songs and you know, shout out to my girl Mesa, who arranged for us to meet Christopher, yeah, Christopher and Absolutely. take the CD yeah. to him. Yeah. And he actually don't do we love Mesa? We love, Mesa. We love yeah. you. We we love, we love you. you. We love and you. and she already knows. She took the CD to him and arranged for us to meet him, and he gave me the biggest compliment ever. Uh, of course, I'm glad I had done it before for y'all did, because he'd have been like, "I'm gonna need you to not sing my song." You understand me? I done turned it loose on six brothers that's about to wear all right. the notes out. Because it's a great song, and I know it you is. wore it, it is. out yourself. I so tried. Therefore, I tried. get it to with, you <laughs> must get her every <laughs> two with. Because it's too, so many it, syllables. And, it, it, and it's kind of funny how one minute you kind of get thrown under the bus for singing cover songs, and then the other minute you pick a good song like that and do a crazy arrangement. And it just breathes more light. When you have a hit song, it's a hit song, it's a hit. I would right. record a Willie Nelson song to a Yolanda Adams song to a Snoop Dogg song, you understand right. me? And kill all of them, you know what I mean? And the music, not the people. There it is. Yeah. The music right. speaks. You, you know, it, it really does. It yeah. really does. That's why we're still doing Snoopy songs, because they speak forever. Oh forever. Yes. Forever. Yes. I probably know more Stevie songs than any, in, well, up there with Chic songs. Chic songs and Stevie <laughs> songs. That's my main list right that's, there. That's a disclaimer. And, you know, yeah. right, disclaimer. <laughs> so now, how do you feel about the music industry right now? Like, right now, today? Oh, I, I'm sad that the musicians and the writers, we're the ones that are actually suffering because it's, it's free money. It's, yeah. Say it again, it's okay? Free, you know? And we, we love music, it's our, in our hearts, we're gonna put it out. But you know, that's supposed to be our living and it just makes it a little bit tough for us. Oh my God. So, mm. you know, I'm a little sad about that, but I'm always glad for the creativity that still comes out, regardless of how the industry is. Absolutely. We're still doing it. Still um, turning out good stuff. Still, still turning out good stuff. And the music uh, styles are changing. You know, I, I have a daughter that is a musician. Mm. Of course. And you know, she's doing stuff that I would never dream about doing myself. Really? That's right. That's right. Cause Vocally it's, it's or new. instrumentally or Vocally both? and instrumentally. Wow. I do want to ask you about something like that. Yeah. I, I, I want to ask you about something specifically. Okay. okay. So someone that grew up listening to you, not, I mean, of course, I, I, I did that from when you had your first album, but someone like Jacob Collier, oh my God. who has done that and taken, you know, uh, everything that he's learned, and now he's had a chance. He's, he's just yeah. a big hippie. He's not from here. Wow. <laughs> I thought, wow. He's not. You know, there are people that are actually born on this planet. Right. He was hatched on another planet. Right. right. It, it, but he, Quincy Jones he, says he, that he about young. you all. Quincy well, Jones. I have verification. You already told him I'm born in Bronx. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That's right. So, but I'm. We have had a chance to work with him. He is beyond yeah. incredible. Yeah. Beyond so just you know, he thinks of so many things at one time, and now he tries to do them all at one time too. Right. If you ever seen him in concert, if you ever had a chance, you should definitely go see this dude yeah. because he's gonna play all the instruments, try to play them all at once. Wow! And just and sing and sing all the parts and, mm -hmm. and, and while serving it. tea. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. He might as well. Right. 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 I'm telling you, it's that incredible. Wow. We had to play. We what did we play? Uh, Royal Albert Hall. Right. In, right. Uh, in London. 
this yeah. with him. He was just beyond. Wow. Beyond. So it's such an honor to work with him. He's coming out with a new project and we're on yeah. it. So nice. Is this project you're talking yeah. about? Or is, what is, what is, it? is it a different project? Or it's it's Jesse? It's a different, different oh. project. Okay. And speaking of which, you all have worked, you you yourself arranging and composing and writing. We're going to talk about that arranging thing too. But how, how when, when you all, um, Take Six has worked with all kinds of people from classical to gospel to jazz. You know, who's on your bucket list now to work with that you haven't already or, you know what I mean, or always wanted to? It's this chick that loves to dress in red. <laughs> really? I don't know anybody, man. I wonder who. Let's zoom in on the lady well, in I red mean, right I'm here. here. Yes. <laughs> Trying to just say, okay, if you need something. Oh, I need something. Know, we will push the cord right now. I've been around for a long time. Listen. You know, if you need something. In fact, y'all catch last week's episode, we're going to go up to the studio and start recording <laughs> while I got it. <laughs> you know, man, listen, don't play because you already know. Y'all heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. You heard it. Okay. Yeah. But uh, my goodness, you know, there are a lot of new artists out there that, that I love to work with, you know, because the, the flavor is different now. The flavor is different, you know, and um, I would just like to be able to, to put a little bit of a taste in in their minds right, of, right, what, of what where it came from. Right, right, know? right. And so there I you know, it's kinda hard to name all the right. them all out, but uh, you know, I'm just interested in working with the new direction. Right. Yeah. right. Have you ever worked with and I don't know, maybe I missed this record or this single, but because you guys have so many. Have you ever worked with um like a Snoop or Doctor Dre or Chance the Rapper or any of the like mm -hmm. serious did, did I miss that Dre? one? Dre, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, we have. Dr. Dre. Yeah. 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 Stuff with did, you, Dre. did you meet Mark Faxton? Do you know who that is? He worked with Dre a lot. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Producer, wonderful producer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah wonderful that, was, that was an experience. I so, bet. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, it, it hasn't been released yet, and you know, we never actually know if it's actually going to be released or not. But, but right, that's yeah. true. We sing on a lot of stuff, and eventually it comes out. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do that again. Sure. <laughs> My computer got happy. It was yeah. like, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to that. I ain't yeah, up. yeah. See, you talk about a, a cool dude, a yeah. nice dude, a yeah. big dude with heart. Nice. You know, I know he's been through a lot, but my yeah. God, he's, you know, incredible. And, you know, somebody like him and possibly Chance the Rapper, that would be, that would, that would be crazy, right? right? No, that would be crazy. You know, that would be hey. Y'all just call us when you hook up. Hey. Heard it here first on Feel yeah, Better Friday. Y'all, yeah, yeah. it's Feel Better Friday. We are live in the mall available. with the one and only Mark Kibble <laughs> of Take Six. And I know we're going to get to some more songs, but I have to ask, you are, um, you know, a vocal arranger times 10. Yeah. I mean, seriously. I'm doing good to think of the top, the middle, and the bottom, and then you add four, five, 17 more parts. How do you even hear such a thing? How do you, um, like when you are writing, four take six, and you're literally writing those parts or those arrangements or creating those things, how do you separate those notes and those parts like that? Oh, it's easy. <laughs> like, there it is. I was waiting Listen, for, I'm going to make chicken up to like that. I was really it's waiting for it. It's real easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just put one number after the next. And then you <laughs> and I tell you, I get a headache uh -huh. trying to come up with arrangements or trying to learn something off of their record. You know what? what? Though, you know what? I, I, I compare it to making, to doing a painting. You have lots of awesome art around you. Mm -hmm. The camera scrolls around. You Just know, a little. You see Don't get too much. This, this beautiful uh, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, and, and just like how you put your jewelry together, yeah. you put different pieces together, you see the whole picture before it gets started. That's right? true. That's you know? true. You that's see that true. picture, well, that's, I see the musical true. picture just like you do, and then it's just putting all the right ingredients. Yeah, in but six parts, though. Yeah, well, how many, how many pieces do you have in your jewelry? Uh, touche. Okay. Uh, okay. I got the touche. So, so wait, I do have I'm sorry, what? Piece. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so check this out. I, I want to ask about that thing. So there is a signature sound. For take six, but when people call you to do other things, even outside of take six, do they want that sound of take six, or is there something else like if it's just you and maybe you, your brother Joe? Well, sometimes, you know? well, usually if they call us all, there's a sound that they want. Right. But yeah. you know, 
you have to understand that in somebody else's mind, mm -hmm. you know, they hear something that they think they hear. Right. And it might not be exactly what we are. I it got might you, be I got something you, I got a little you, I got different. You. Yeah. And sometimes we have to mold it to whatever it is that they feel. Yeah. Sometimes they, you know, what we bring might be a little much for what they look oh. like. So, you know, we, we, we can easily scale back if we need to. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> We're adjustable. We're flexible. But, you know, in general, yeah, they do, they do want... Uh, they want that excitement yeah, that they yeah. heard when they heard the first right. How do you feel That's about so many groups, um, you know, Afro Blue, Pentatonic, all these groups? I love are them. Are they great? Afro Blue, come yes, on. Yes, yes. Oh Shout out goodness. to Afro Blue. We've got a lot of yeah. friends in that group, Trent, Chrissy the Shield, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. and uh, Imani Grace, and some other people. Exactly. that Exactly. Well, you know, um, here's to all of the, the singers that are doing things today because, you know, they evidently have heard something you know, and have y'all, it wasn't no something. It's right. y'all. There's <laughs> nothing else to hear but them. Uh, I'm sorry. But you know, you get you get an specifically. <laughs> you get an amalgamation of everything that they've they've you know, grown up with yeah. and they bring it in and they put it put it out in their music. So That's I'm hearing true. things that I haven't heard before. Different wow. creations that I, I haven't you. heard before I got in you. what they're doing. And right. they're taking it to a whole nother level and they're making people appreciate it, which is something that we can yeah. really appreciate yeah. in our old Right. <laughs> How does this band of brothers keep the love, the faith, the community? You know, I know people would think that groups like yours that have been together so many years that you all, you know, have Sunday dinner every Sunday or Sabbath dinner every Sabbath and potluck and, you know, all that yeah, good stuff. Potluck, and, 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 or that you hang out all the time. I know you guys live in, right. I know you guys live in different places and do different things, but you've been together for a long time and you have outlived groups that have been together yeah. as long or longer than you. You know what I mean? Like we've got iconic groups like, you know, Queen and, 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 and you know, I'm thinking of rock groups at the moment, but, and even like the Temptations or, you know, groups like that. How does this band of brothers literally keep it together and continue to make music like you all live like in a group house or something and just do each right. other's laundry. I mean, it look the kind of brother the brotherhood that you see from you all. Don't do each other's laundry. <laughs> Somehow I knew that. I cannot see. There's their limits. What we will do for each other. Yeah, I can't see Claude going, give me your whites right now. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> We've been through a lot. We've been together professionally for 30 years. Wow. Professionally. And we were wow. together even before that. For you know another seven eight years before that. Wow. So um, through the years, just like a marriage, just right, like a marriage, we have right. been through some deep valleys where we had to you know really Dig. work the work yeah. the hard stuff out. Yeah. Because you know everybody changes in life. Yeah. Everybody kind of goes through midlife crisis or something. We've been through that. Right. Well, you know through it all, we've learned to be brothers to each other. For to love each other for Amen. Real, with wow. God's kind of love. Mm. Yeah. And uh, forgive each other. Mm. To give each other space and room to yeah. be who you are. are. And yeah. be creative and bring whatever it is you bring. Right. We've had to learn our roles. You know? And and through it all, still keep the ultimate message that number one, God put us together. Amen. Right. So until yeah. he's ready for us to go our separate ways, we have a mission. That's yeah. right. We got something to do. And that that mission and that love has been something that has kept us together all these years. Wow, that's tremendous. And I hope for the view, that's right, give it up, give it up. I hope for the viewers out there, um, bands, groups, organizations, you know, everything you just said was key to making it all work, not just for bands and artists and musicians, but for anybody who works together. If you're, you know, running a restaurant or a sports team, it's, the, it's that kind of, um, you know, what you said was so important about allowing each other to grow and, mm -hmm. and forgive. Yeah. You know, we need so much forgiveness in this country right now. It's not even funny. And and the forgiveness, um, the love, and that's that's a lot of, you know, more of the love. We try to bring that love and that good energy right here on Feel Better Friday mm -hmm. with these amazing artists and musicians that come through. And it is literally just to take a slice of the day and insert some love, mm -hmm. musical yeah. love, Absolutely. some fun. What we need to we, you know, Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so um, I want to, just for a second, uh, again, I was speaking about, I wish we had, you know, I, I say it like I have to stop. I have to stop only because I know you got something to do. But I could do this all day because the master class <laughs> that you could get from this man right here, yeah. I want to have a moment, right, where I'm probably going to touch up my makeup, but what I'm going to say is this moment, I call it a scat moment. I call it a band moment because 
you have, you are a master at at running and and when I say running, I mean vocally <laughs> running. They're probably like running. He's fast. Yeah, I run too. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he works out. He does all that stuff. No, but I mean like your your vocal choices, your lines, and and being able to when I listen to you individually or I listen to the group, there's a video of you all from 19 whenever breaking down um, to the intricacies of that. So I want the fellas to have a little fun. What I mean is. Hamilton, oh, Hamilton, Hamilton's like, oh God, I ain't seen this on the <laughs> She ain't sending this in the text now. What's she talking about? What's she talking about? Ah. I'm gonna make, and I ain't gonna make her sing. He'll need therapy if I try to take her sing. No, I want, I, I want to, I want, I want to hear some musical banter. I want that, that I want to go straight jazz, which this is completely out of my wheelhouse. I am not a straight ahead singer by any stretch of the imagination. Until today. Oh, oh. God. I wanna, I just, I wanna hear you in percussion, you in bass, you in drums, you in guitar, doing, you know, y'all about to get a serious master class in scatation. Yes, I just made up a word. Speedy's face though, scatation. Look it up, write it down, Mark's picture will be next to that word, scatation. You feel what I'm saying? Pick a key, y'all do what you do. Jump in, Hamilton, what you got? That works. Anything, because watch, watch. It's Feel Better Friday, y'all. We're live in the loft with the one and only Mark Kibble of Take Six. You are about to witness a masterclass in scatation.
songs with me and there were witnesses in the room. I don't think I can handle it. I gotta tell you, awesome one of song. Uh, thank awesome you. Song. We wrote that, that years ago. Right, Mr. Hunt? Long, long time ago. Long time ago. He's telling all about your relationship. I see that. I know, right? I know. You, 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 that's, that's where some you of the finally came around. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Listen, we're gonna take this out. I had a, I had a, a, a look, a wall full of questions. I ain't gonna ask, well, I tell you what, I tell you what. Okay, I tell you what. This is, I wanna do a little rapid fire. Just a little rapid fire, right? Just a little rapid fire. You ready? I think so. Driving or Uber? Driving. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Yeah. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Calling or texting? Mm, right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Winter, spring, summer, fall? Spring. Okay. Morning person or night person? Morning. 
Cooking or eating out? Eating out. Yeah, you like it's all about yeah. ordering. It's all about who can you call and well, order. It's just easier. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Can you cook? I, I can't, but I don't like to. You know, I know, yeah. right? I got to cook. <laughs> Pickup truck or sports car? Listen, every sports person. car. Sports car. Yeah, come on. Come on to you. Beach, ocean, or mountains and hiking? Beach. Yes, beach. Uh, Dancing or working out? Working out for me. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is like. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here's a good one. Harry or bald? Never mind, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't answer that question. Where's the camera? It's real and Friday, y'all. We're live in the loft. Let's see. I couldn't wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. My wife's sitting on it. Right, right, right. Wow. Can't answer that question. She's like, Mar, Mar, behave, Mar. Listen, y'all, it's yes, Feel it's Better good. Friday. We are live in the loft with the one and only Mark Kibble of Take Six. Take Six is the top a cappella group in the entire world. They are the highest rated, they are the most awarded, and the best singers you have ever met individually and collectively, writing, producing, touring the world, Crossing genres from jazz to gospel to classical and everything in between. I swear if y'all make a bluegrass record, I'm gonna lose my mind. Now we're gonna take this one out. I cannot let this day go without Mark crooning down some more Stevie for us, y'all. If you're watching, if you're listening, if you're sharing, if you're tuning in, thank you. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Keep sharing. We're trying to get our followers up. We're trying to stay in contact with you. We're trying to give you nothing but love every single chance we get right here live on Facebook on Feel Better Friday Live in the Loft. Give it up one more time for Mr. Mark Kibble of Take Six. Who's alone for this night?
so much. Give it up one more time for Hamilton Hayes on bass. Chris Allen on percussion. This is Speedy William Trust Jr. on drums. Stan Cooper on guitar. Mr. Daryl Hunt on keys. I gotta give a shout out to my crew, Vincent Smith, Tony Wesley of Lucky Red Bull Media, our home crew, April Mom, Dawn, everybody, Mel, who gets it in. Shout out to Mrs. Kibble in the house. And this is just how we get down. And Mom and Mr. Eddie, this is how we roll. Thank you so much for watching. I love you for watching. I really do. Thank you for sharing. Make sure you catch the episodes on the official Feel Better Friday, the TV show YouTube channel. We're doing great things, y'all. We're trying to keep it going. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us out there. Share it with your friends. Tell somebody they need to feel better. Because you know why, right? Hey.